Nine News reporter Todd Walker joins us live where they are so grateful tonight and, and they had a wonderful way to show it. Absolutely, Cheryl, and there's still quite a few of them out here who have come out to say thank you to all the firefighters, the police officers, the sheriff's deputies, all of those who came out to help save so many homes. Yes, many were lost, but these, this is a community that is so thankful for everything that has been done for them to try to save all those houses. There's a dedicated crowd out here still, and they are very happy, but I want you to take a look at how much bigger the crowd was earlier today. Take a look at this video. I would estimate at least a thousand people came out today to say thank you. As shift change happened, as the folks who worked all day came off the line, they came back in to get some very precious sleep. And the next shift, or the overnight shift, they came out to go fight this fire to continue to try and knock it back, make sure it does not uh, continue to grow. This is an incredibly grateful co community for as much as they have lost. I want you to take a listen to what some of the folks had to say. Right oh my god, like I've already cried three times. <laughs> I have goosebumps and I'm shaking because I don't know. I mean, people feel like there's nothing you can do and the littlest things help. And you're seeing these guys drive by with their video cameras and they love it. They know that we appreciate everything they've done. So And we still do have a few firefighters that are coming back off the line here. And the next crew is going to be heading out. This is an incredibly grateful community. And as for as much heartbreak as we have seen this week, this has been an incredibly heartwarming moment. We'll have more for you tonight on 9 News at 10. Cheryl. Todd, I'll say a few things. You'll probably hear nothing that I can say, but it is really neat to see that for everything they've been through, the excitement and the gratitude. I'm sure the firefighters feel like a million bucks just about now. Todd Walker reporting. If you can hear oh, us, absolutely. thank you, Todd. They, were, they had their video cameras hanging out the window. Oh, they good. had their video cameras hanging out the window as they were coming back through. They were, had smiles all over their faces. It is good to see it. Todd Walker reporting for us. Thanks a lot, Todd. Nine News reporter Todd Walker joins us live now. Todd, you are just back from a thank you celebration that was sure something to see. Absolutely, it's much more calm now. If you missed uh, Nine News at Nine, you missed quite the party. Around eight o'clock tonight, there were at shift change when the day crew came off the lines to go get some much needed sleep. The night crew headed out to go fight this fire to keep uh, keep gaining ground. There was at least a thousand people, I would say, who came out to say thank you to the firefighters. Some had no idea if they had a home to go back to, but it didn't matter. For a community that has been through so much and lost so much in only a few days, a hero's welcome came awfully easy. A simple thank you would do. Ironic, last year during Waldo Canyon fire, I was people evacuated to my home. But this is so much more appropriate. Oh my god, like I've already cried three times. <laughs> I have goosebumps and I'm shaking because I don't know. I mean, people feel like there's nothing you can do and the littlest things help. Some people lost their homes, others had them saved, and because of these firefighters, others didn't have to worry. The fire was basically about a half mile from crossing over into our development. And uh, the response was phenomenal. So tonight, a hero's welcome for those who truly deserve it. Our family and friends are here and they've lost everything. As a community says thank you from the bottom of its heart. And while we were out there, there were people handing out these fire colored Colorado strong bracelets. It was definitely uh, an inspiring thing to see after days of just bad news. It was really like it, it, there were people who were getting emotional out there because this is this has been uh, just so tough for this community who went through the same thing as you heard in the piece. Some people had people staying at their house last year during Waldo Canyon. Now they were evacuated. So some good news, a lighter moment in what has been a tough week for these guys. You know, you see what they've been through and you see the amount of gratitude tonight. This is a community that really understands what this all means and knows those firefighters have been working so hard despite the homes that were lost. So many more were saved. Absolutely. And like I said, there, there are some who had no idea if their homes were there or not, but they were still out there saying thank you for just the a valiant effort that these firefighters have put up so far. And there's still a lot of work to be done. Sure. Made us feel good to watch it. Todd Walker, thanks for being there.